carrots, we got plecos, we got tiger oscars. Look at this. Snickers, say hi. Here's the turtles that we're getting. There you go. Dude, that's so sick. What is going on, Kakaros? Welcome back to another video here. Today, we're getting albino red ear sliders. It's about that time, and we actually got a sponsor for this video. I never bring in sponsors that I don't believe in, and this is one that I truly think is absolutely amazing, and Christmas is coming up, so it's gonna be a great one for this video. My Pet Canva is a company that actually will put your animal, your pet, whether it's a pig, a dog, a turtle, anything you could possibly think of that you own, onto a blanket, a pillow, a cup, a mug. A cup and a mug of thing? I don't know if those are the same thing, I don't know. They will literally pick the picture from your animal, whether it's wearing a sweatshirt or not, Every little speck in design on that picture you send them. Whenever you order something, you get to pick a background color for that blanket or that pillow, so on and so forth, whatever you may order. And then of course, you import your photo of the animal that you want to be designed on that product. I highly suggest going to check out this website. It'll be top link in the description and you can get 15% off any order. As many orders as you want, 15% off using code Paul15. That's it, Paul15, 15% off anything you wanna buy on the site. This is me surprising Davis with socks, which he knew was coming. I told him I was getting him socks because he likes to wear crazy socks, but me doing that, getting my pig blanket, which came out insane, and then surprised my mom with a dog that sadly passed away about a year ago, and that was like my mom's like favorite dog, so I got that design onto a blanket. I also got my dad, his pit bull designed on a blanket as well. So my whole family has this product. Once again, I believe in this and uh, I highly encourage anyone that's interested in this to just go forward and do it. It's Lulu on socks. On socks. Oh! oh! <laughs> Dude! Yes, that is so dope. It is so good, bro. Oh my oh gosh. Oh my gosh. Literally, look at her. It's just like her. Just look at that. Turn I mean, she's busy. Yeah, she's. <laughs> Yeah. Open them, open them, bro. That is so sick. And I wear socks like these all the time. I know, that's why I got them for you. Thanks. So this is the sock, and there's the picture next to it right there. Look at how good the designers they have are. That is incredible. This is amazing. All right, so there's two blankets in here. One is for my mom, and the other is for me. And it's this little fella right here. Lowe's. I think it's her on a blanket. Nero, we already got one made of you. Look at this. Look at this, Nero. You look just like it. Killer blanket. This one I actually surprised my dad with beforehand, and then I got in touch with this company, and they are amazing. This stuff is amazing. I don't promote things that I don't use. I literally went out and bought this beforehand, before anything. Gotta go show them some love. Surprise your family with something just like this. Talking about surprises, let's uh, open up not only my pink blanket, but then after that, surprise my mom with the one she has no idea even came in the middle. Yeah, hey, you don't see the snout? Is that the snout? <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's the snout. Oh my gosh. I haven't seen it. It's awesome. Should I look? It's sick. <laughs> ah! Dude. Biggie. Dude, I bought this strictly, so when I eventually do get my own house, this is going straight on the couch. Literally <laughs> sitting just like this, and Lulu's gonna be 100 pounds by the time we get Oh the no. Oh, look, look at the screen. That's you in the background. She's at a loss of words. Dude, they go so hard on the design. Look at the little hairs on the snout. Oh, no. How insane is that? That is some killer stuff, bro. Now, go surprise my mom with a dog she had about a year ago that sadly passed away from old age. And uh, I decided to th get a throwback picture from that dog and send it to him. Because when you do put in an order, you put in that picture that you want them designed of your own animal. And uh, it's gonna be good. This is gonna be a really good surprise. She has no idea, nor do I know what this even looks like. I got I got Dad's blanket, so I got you something. You kill me. You got to probably gonna stand up and open it what so you can be, see. Like Oscar or something. It has to be Oscar because everybody. Look at pigs on her blanket right now. Hi, Pony. I can't even imagine. All right. Is there an Davis, animal in this house? Wait, Davis, open it for her. <laughs> Davis, open it for us so she can see what the name is. Come on! Back up. It's Chi Chi. Oh. <laughs> she started hugging it. <laughs> I knew she loved it. That's oh, yeah. it. There's no way. Oh my god. Oh, Chi Chi. Oh, thank you. Thank <laughs> I sent them the picture with. This dress on. That's the dress right there, remember? This is the exact dress she was wearing in that picture. Oh, don't. 
<laughs> That's crazy. The cute shell rule. <laughs> <laughs> and there it is. Is that the one? The That's colors. right. You're right. That is crazy how good they are at it's designing so it. It looks the same. Oh, God. Don't forget to use Paul15 for 15% off anything off that site. Look at your eyes. That is dope. It looks like a ghost. Oh, yeah. Pink belly side next right here. We are currently at a uh, pet store I've filmed in a few times. Check these guys out. One sec. Let me get a focus. What in the heck? That thing is dope. Little musk turtles down there. Baby, baby. Those things would slip out of my cage in a second. Snapping turtle. This is my type of stuff. I know it's kind of weird, but I love when it comes to like driftwood like that right there and then a plant on the side of it. Oh my goodness gracious. This one's even cooler. Look at that, but I'm sure it's very, very expensive. Price tag, but I don't see, I don't see a price tag. So this is actually something Camp Cannon uses to make his turtles uh, get on top of and sunbathe. This will float in the water and you can also break it into pieces and have them float on that as well. But we already made our, our homemade way, our DIY way. We added bricks and then uh, they can make their way out and stay on that. Parrots, we got Plecos, we got Tiger Oscars. Check that out, albinos. More of them over here. This place is just loaded. Little jewel cichlids, knife fish. Look at all the discus. Such cool, cool looking fish. Bunch of angel fish, look at them all. This place actually got rid of all their baby turtles, so they don't have money other than the ones in the tank we just saw. So they don't have the albino red ear sliders. Plan B was to call Blake, and uh, I did so, and he's got them. So we're heading an hour and 30 minutes down south, and we're getting our turtles today. Alrighty, we're out here at Blake's Exotic Animal Ranch. He's not here, unfortunately, he's in like Tallahassee or something. But uh, ignore the birds in the background as well. This place is like legit. This is the pond with the turtles, and here's the turtles that we're getting, actually. Right here, look at this thing. Perfect size, dude. Like, perfect size. And then eventually they'll get to this big. And then, of course, they'll get bigger. Oh, wow, he almost ran out of my hand. But bigger from there as well. You can see the other one running over here. These two little ones. Look, they got an albino placo right there, too. Right there. Some mollies and platies. Gotta have them all these platies, but so these two little albino red ear sliders are they going home with us? Perfect, perfect size. Nick, what do you think, dude? I like them. Let me you like them? What Snickers. That, what do you think, Snick? Oh, whoa, whoa! All right, just a little bit of water to get home. Not much. You don't want water splashing everywhere. Boom, and a boom. Oh, look, they think they're back in their pond, swimming around. I love how the shells like have that tint of algae, like the green. Look at this. Snickers, say hi. It's a baby Pacatino. Look at her. <laughs> I don't think Lulu's gonna appreciate this. Nick, say it. It's a baby Pacatino. Hey. Yeah, Lulu's gonna smell it and be like, who you been with? Oh, Dave, it's quick getting shots of his butt. Here, here. Come on, dude. We got him. I've been waiting for this moment for so long. Look at him. Shut phone call. Shout out to Blake's Exotic Animal Ranch. He's got a YouTube channel as well. I'll have it linked in the description. He's the only reason why I have these turtles because otherwise I would have had to drive to like four miles which is like four hours away so huge shout out to him. Without further ado we're just gonna ride these things home and get them into that mini turtle pond. Finally bro Knuckles. Too bad you little fellas eat fish or else you'd be going in this giant backyard. You're a little small anyway but they eat fish, so there wouldn't be many mollies and platies left if I were to put these guys in there. Back home with both of our albino red ear sliders. I've been talking about getting these things in the past few videos multiple times, and today is finally the day we got them. It took a bit to find these things. It was not easy, I can tell you that for dang sure. Shout out to Blake, thank gosh for him because I couldn't have done this video without him, but there's the two new albino turtles. Holy moly, guys. We done did it. Now, I made this enclosure. As you guys know, I made it every step-by-step -step on video. It's one of my favorite things I've actually ever made in my own backyard, so pretty stoked for it. Put Both of them are getting their heads out. Right on them is so Yeah, right. Cool, They're getting used to the surrounding. Mm. Make sure we get turtle pellets when we're out. I got them. Oh, you do? Yeah. Your little, uh, your little ramp here that you can get out of the water. I don't know how much they're gonna wanna go out, but look at this. Dude, they got a chill spot in there. They got a chill spot under here. I mean, dude, they're vibing. Look at that. Under the bush, they're just, they're just chilling. But I want to see one swim. So we're going to put them right on the corner and see if they just make their way in. Here we go.
Oh, we missed it. Look at him. Look at him chilling. Take, oh, oh, and there he goes. That is number two. Both our turtles are down there. And without further ado, y'all, here's the GoPro. So it's been a few and these turtles are definitely getting used to their environment, their new enclosure. And you can see, see how comfortable they are? They're actually chilling, swimming around, getting to learn the surrounding. And um, eventually, I'm sure we're gonna see them on the bank. I mean, I'm just excited for the future with these two little guys. Y'all already know the drill. Start commenting names below. It's gonna be crazy down there. I'm thinking a few thousand comments will be down there naming. So don't be the one that misses out on that. Just comment a name down below and we'll see. We want a name that everyone's gonna agree with. So uh, start commenting. They got their umbrella if they do want a suntan. Um, just, <laughs> Dude, they're living lavish. Let me just say that. Look at this. Yeah, yeah. Boom! Got it done. Look at them. Coming up for a little breath of air. They look so cool because the tub is actually black. I might put gravel later on. I do have a bag right there that yeah. I could put in <laughs> whenever. Uh, but there's uh, both turtles chilling down there. And they actually, these come up like that. And there's like a cave under them. It's like a little tiny mini cave. And the turtles kind of like it under there, so we'll probably see them like that more often. This is so cool. Now, I actually cut in the corners with a bunch of gravel, so as you know, this fence right here is locked into the house. Look at all that gravel packed in back there. They're too big to even fit through there. Yeah, they're too big to even fit in that hole. Um, I don't think birds will really mess with that. Birds are, are not really back in my backyard. Never had any issues with birds around my neighborhood, nor possums, nor raccoons. We have a lot of cats that keep them out. Remember, use code PAUL15 to get 15% off all those pet blankets, pillows, pictures, canvases, like, I'm talking everything. Check the site out. Trust me, you will not regret buying anything off that site. Today's positive comment shout out going out to Galaxy Gamer 873 Yo, Paul, love your videos, man, and I love turtles. Turtle myself, too. Turtle myself, too, is what I'm guessing he meant to say. Thank you, Galaxy Gamer, and thanks to all those who do support me in the comments below. If you want to win a positive comment shout out and have your comment in one of these upcoming videos, all you got to do is be sure to hit that subscribe button, join the family. We're uh, approaching on to 700,000 subs. Be sure to hit that like button and also drop a positive comment so that I can screenshot it and uh, hopefully 